This video will touch on these topics. Addiction is a severe form of substance use disorder that is characterized by intense cravings and compulsion to use despite negative consequences. Structures and reward pathways in the brain are negatively affected by substances. This process is beyond a person's conscious control. Addiction can be treated using a multidisciplinary approach. What is addiction? Addiction is a treatable, chronic medical disease involving complex brain circuits, genetics, the environment, and an individual's life experiences. Most people who use drugs do not develop addiction. Environment and genetic components play a significant role in one's risk. Those who go on to develop addiction engage in use that becomes compulsive and continue despite harmful consequences. A key piece to understanding and treating addiction is recognizing how the brain's subconscious processes drive a person to keep using substances. The brain's reward system connects the areas of the brain that deal with motivation, pleasure, and behavior reinforcement. Each time a person uses an addictive substance, it causes a release of dopamine, a chemical messenger that reinforces feelings of reward, satisfaction, and a desire to use again, regardless of consequences. Additionally, addiction involves changes in the prefrontal cortex, impairing decision-making and impulse control. The amygdala and hippocampus are also affected, contributing to the emotional and memory-related aspects of addiction. These neurobiological changes create a cycle of craving, withdrawal, and return to use, making addiction a persistent and challenging condition to treat. Let's dig deeper to understand how brain functions contribute to addiction. The brain's reward center receives dopamine from the ventral tegmental area, or VTA, which plays a big role in how we experience pleasure and motivation. Dopamine signals to our brains to repeat positive experiences. The hippocampus and amygdala connect emotions and memories to the things we experience. They can trigger strong urges to use substances. This emotional connection makes it hard to stop or resist using again. The prefrontal cortex is responsible for decision-making, self-control, and managing emotions and impulses. Drugs can damage this area. Behavioral therapy for substance use disorder often focuses on strengthening the prefrontal cortex to help control urges. The prefrontal cortex is the last area of the brain to fully develop. This is why teens are more vulnerable to substance use. Now let's put it all together. Normally, dopamine release is triggered psychologically by feelings of pleasure and released in the accumbens. Dopamine in accumbens then triggers the brain to want to repeat that pleasurable experience. When someone uses an addictive substance, these substances cause a direct release of dopamine, flooding the reward circuit up to 10 times more than natural rewards like food or sex. Even after tolerance is built up and the drug is no longer enjoyable, taking the substance still causes a release of dopamine and fuels an ever-intensifying desire to use again and again. When the brain's reward circuit is hijacked by addictive substances, a person's ability to experience pleasure from naturally rewarding healthy activities is reduced. This is one of the reasons people who struggle with addiction may be unable to enjoy things that were once pleasurable. Now, the person needs to keep using substances to experience even a normal level of reward. Larger and larger amounts will often be required to produce the familiar high. In addiction, cues from a person's daily routine or environment become linked with drug use, triggering uncontrollable cravings, even when the drug isn't available. These connections can last a long time, even when the drug hasn't been used in years. Let's review some key takeaways. Addiction is a severe form of substance use disorder, characterized by intense cravings and compulsion to use despite negative consequences. Structures and reward pathways in the brain are negatively affected by substances. This process is beyond a person's conscious control. Addiction can be treated using a multidisciplinary approach. Treatment medications. For example, treatment with medication is the gold standard for opioid use disorder. Therapy to rebuild areas of the brain damaged by addictive substances. Meaningful human connection, supportive relationships, and engaging in purposeful activities strengthen healthy reward pathways. Want to learn more about substance use disorder? 
visit our website for education, resources, and opportunities to get involved.